Welcome to Literature Femter. Friends, our today's video is all about the major themes in the Jew of Malta written by Christopher Marlowe. Our first theme is avarice. Avarice, which might be defined as unrestrained greed, appears as a theme in Act 1 and Scene 1. In his opening soliloquy, Barabbas virtually deifies his riches. He is sharply attentive to every detail of his trading ventures, shipping routes, geography, investment and return. Making money is the core of his existence. Avarice, however, is not limited to Barabbas, but extends to other characters as well. Lodovic, for instance, wishes to marry Abigail for her money and inheritance. Giacomo and Barnardine fear with each other for Barabbas's philanthropy when Barabbas pretends that he wants to be converted to Christianity. And of course, there's Ethamore, Barabbas's Turkish slave, and the minor characters Bellamira and Pilia who turn to blackmail in their efforts to become wealthy. In short, Avaris is one of the play's hallmark themes. It overlaps with the themes of hypocrisy and revenge. Our next theme is revenge. Barabbas plots to get even with Fernese for confiscating his entire property. Barabbas achieves the first phase of his revenge when he manipulates the governor's son Lodovic into a duel with Matthias in which both Lodovic and Matthias are killed. There is little question that the young man's parents, Fernes and Catherine, will lose no opportunity to take their revenge on any more who has staged the duel. In the meantime, revenge plays a prominent role in Barabbas's decision to poison all the nuns at the nunnery, including his daughter, Abigail whom he thinks has betrayed both him and her ancestral Jewish faith, anti-Christian. The deaths of Friar Barnardine, who is strangled, and Father Giacomo, who is condemned to the gallows, are good examples of later. Marlowe's play is a strong example of Elizabethan revenge tragedy. Our next theme is hypocrisy. In the Jew of Malta, hypocrisy takes the form of a pious declaration of virtue that masks corrupt, vicious behavior and it is virtually and it is virtually universal among the characters. Barabbas, for instance, is a hypocrite in numerous ways. Perhaps his most shocking act of hypocrisy is his invocation of Maltese law in Act 4. Scene 1, when he says that Friar Giacomo will have to be tired, Friar Giacomo will have to be tried for the murder of Friar Barnardine, a murder that was carried out not by Giacomo but by Barabbas with the aid of Ethamore. Marlowe adds considerable irony to the dimension of hypocrisy when he endows Barabbas with an acute sense of spotting the hypocrisy of others. But this aspect of his character does not diminish his own hypocrisy. Young Lodovic is also portrayed as hypocritical when he pursues Abigail, ostensibly for the girl's beauty and virtue, but really, as is hinted at several times, for her riches, he keeps referring to her, for example, as a diamond. Farnese's hypocrisy stands out when he uses scripture and Christian morality, Fry Giacomo and Fry Bandine are hypocritical in that they pretend to be devout but are shown to be envious and money hungry. Hypocrisy overlaps in the play with the themes of avarice and revenge and also on the use of religion as a symbol. Our next theme is anti Semitism. Anti-Semitism is a prominent theme in the play. Its target is not only Barabbas, but all the Jews of Malta. And its practitioners are not only the Christian rulers of the island, 
but also the Muslim Turks. Barabbas is acutely conscious of being not only despised but socially and financially oppressed. On the other hand, though he is intensely, on the other hand, though he is intensely proud of his cunning ability to overcome his obstacle by amassing wealth and tricking his enemies. The first half of the play shows him as a stunning successful. It is only with the emergence of Bella Mara's and Ethan Moore's blackmail, as well as the extremely complex plots and counterplots in the second half of the play that we have the sense of Barabbas's power dwindling. In the end, of course, his enemies win out and deal him a gruesome death. Our next theme is policy. As used in this play and understood by the Elizabethans, Policy refers to an individual's plan to arrange events, however necessary to achieve his own advantage. Barabbas applies this selfish policy to his actions throughout the play. To the first Jew, for example, he declares that it is the Maltese government's policy that lies at the core of Maltese officials' demands to take his property, wealth ships, and home. Soon after, He exhorts his daughter, Abigail, be ruled by me, for in extremely we ought to make bar of no policy. In short, policy is a euphemism for self and trust. So that's all about that. today's video. I hope you like the information shared by me. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel and hit the like button.